Audiobook Academy Biography Presents Kobe Bryant A former professional basketball player, won five NBA championships with the Los Angeles Lakers and became one of the game's greatest players. On January 26, 2020, he perished tragically in a helicopter crash. Kobe Bryant was born and raised in Italy, where he began his NBA career at the age of 17 after graduating from high school. Bryant was a powerful scorer for the Los Angeles Lakers, with whom he won five NBA championships and the 2008 MVP award. He retired in 2016 after scoring 60 points in his final game, despite his later seasons being hampered by injuries. He passed Michael Jordan for third place on the NBA's all-time scoring list in December 2014, despite the ailments. As a result of Bryant's work on Deer Basketball, he was awarded the Academy Award for Best Animated Short Film in 2018. Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter Gigi, and seven others were killed in a helicopter crash on January 26, 2020. Early Years On August 23, 1978, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, a boy named Kobe Bean Bryant was born. A former NBA player's son, Bryant is named after a city in Japan. While in Italy, Bryant's father played in the Italian League after retiring from the NBA in 1984. Bryant grew up in Italy with two elder sisters, Shaya and Sharia, who were both avid basketball and soccer players. As a senior at Lower Marion High School in Philadelphia, Bryant led the team to four consecutive state titles in basketball. He also began working out with the Philadelphia 76ers as a way to prepare for the NBA. He had excellent grades and high SAT scores, but Bryant chose to play in the NBA right out of high school. He was drafted 13th overall in the 1996 NBA draft by the Charlotte Hornets and later traded to the LA Lakers. Statistics Bryant was selected as a starter for the 1998 NBA All-Star Game, making him the league's youngest ever All-Star at the age of 19. After that, he and superstar center Shaquille O'Neal won three straight NBA titles, and the shooting guard was named to the All-NBA first team each year from 2002 to 2004. Adidas, Sprite, and other well-known brands have all signed multi-year endorsement contracts with him. In spite of the Lakers' struggles following O'Neal's departure in 2004, Bryant was outstanding. With an NBA record total of 81 points against the Toronto Raptors in the first game of the season in 2006, he went on to lead the league in scoring both that year and the following. Bryant won MVP honors in 2008 and led his team to the NBA Finals, where they were defeated by the Boston Celtics, but he remains one of the best players in the league. The Los Angeles Lakers defeated the Orlando Magic in the 2009 NBA Finals to claim the title of champions. He attended the funeral of his buddy and music legend Michael Jackson not long after that. By defeating the Boston Celtics, the Lakers claimed their second NBA championship in a row. Bryant was a member of the U.S. Olympic teams in 2008 and 2012, where he won two gold medals alongside teammates Kevin Durant, LeBron James, and Carmelo Anthony. Bryant battled hard to return to the court after tearing his Achilles tendon in April 2013, but he fractured his knee six games into the 2013-2014 season. In December 2014, the veteran All-Star surpassed Michael Jordan for third place on the NBA's all-time scoring chart, but his season ended due to injury for the third straight year when he suffered a ruptured rotator cuff. Retirement Bryant was back in time for the start of the 2015-2016 NBA season, but he and his youthful Lakers colleagues were still struggling to adapt to their new surroundings. His decision to retire at the end of the season came in November of that year. On the Players' Tribune website, he remarked, This season is all I have left to give. The beating will not hurt me. While my mind is capable of coping with the daily grind, my body is ready to say goodbye. Adam Silver Bryant has been named one of the best players ever by NBA Commissioner Adam Silver, who called Bryant one of the greatest athletes in our game's history in a statement. Kobe has an unconditional love for the game, whether he's competing in the championships or hoisting jump shots at 2 a.m. in a deserted gym. It was Bryant's final game in Los Angeles on April 13, 2016 that wowed a sold-out Staples Center crowd and fans worldwide, as he scored 60 points and led the Los Angeles Lakers to a victory over the Utah Jazz. Bryant scored 60 points for the sixth time in his career. Bryant addressed to the crowd after the game. Incredibly, he said, I can't believe it's been 20 years. It's surreal to be here in the middle of the court with my teammates, reflecting on the journey we've taken together. We've had our highs and lows. The most essential thing, in my opinion, is that we all remained united throughout the process. O'Neal, Phil Jackson, Pau Gasol, Derek Fisher, Lamar Odom, and Magic Johnson were among the other Laker legends who pay respect to Bryant. 
Johnson stated, We're here to celebrate brilliance for the next 20 years. For the past two decades, there has been only excellence. Never once has Kobe Bryant deceived the game or the fans. Injuries haven't stopped him from playing, he's played while hurt. Five championship banners are proof of our success. Dear Basketball Bryant announced his retirement from the Lakers in November 2015 with a poem titled Dear Basketball on the Players' Tribune website. To bring his poetry to life as a short film, the Olympic gold medalist turned to the likes of Disney animator Glenn Keane and musician John Williams. Ultimately, the outcome was a stunning 5-minute and 20-second short film that premiered at the 2017 Tribeca Film Festival in New York. As a result, Bryant was presented with the Oscar for Best Animated Short Film at the 2018 ceremony much to the surprise of everyone in attendance. Bryant was also invited to join the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences short film and animation branch. Sadly, in June of this year, it was disclosed that the Academy's Governor's Committee had revoked the invitation, stating that the retired basketball star needed to put in more work before being considered for membership. Charged with sexual assault. Bryant was arrested in Colorado in July 2003 and charged with one count of sexual assault on a 19-year-old hotel employee. Bryant insisted that he was guilty of adultery but not rape because of his alleged infidelity. To avoid going to trial again, Bryant agreed to settle the civil complaint brought against him by the hotel employee in 2004. Philanthropy As part of the Kobe and Vanessa Bryant Family Foundation, the basketball legend has worked with the non-profit after-school All-Stars. The Kobe Basketball Academy was a summer camp he held every year. Family Vanessa Lane, a 19-year-old high school student, married Bryant in April 2001. Aside from Natalia Diamante, Gianna Maria Honore, Bianca, and Capri, the couple had four daughters together, born 2019. Death During the early hours of January 26, 2020, Bryant was aboard a Sikorsky S-76 helicopter when it went down in the Calabasas, California, suburbs. Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter Gianna Gigi were among the nine victims who lost their lives in the crash. Bryant was his route from Orange County to Mamba Sports Academy in Thousands Oaks, California where he planned to serve as head coach for a tournament game. Bryant's wife Vanessa wrote on Instagram, We are crushed by the tragic loss of my adoring husband, Kobe, the outstanding father of our children, and my lovely, darling Gianna, a kind, considerate, and wonderful daughter, and excellent sister to Natalia, Bianca, and Capri, she added. Right now, there aren't enough words to adequately express our anguish. I find solace in the fact that Kobe and Gigi were aware of how much their loved ones cared for them. Their presence in our life was truly a blessing. I wish they could be here with us all the time. Too quickly, we lost our wonderful blessings. On February 7, 2020, Bryant and his daughter were buried in a private burial. Beyonce and Alicia Keys performed musical tributes at the Staples Center on February 24, with Jordan, Shaq, and wife Vanessa among those who shared poignant remembrances of the basketball star and family guy at the funeral service on February 24. Bryant was inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame on April 4, 2020. The National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB, said in February 2021 that pilot Arizobion was likely confused because he was flying under visual flight orders, or VFR, which technically banned him from penetrating the clouds. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this. See you in next video.